My name is Annika, and if you've watched any of my videos before, you may know that I am trying to ski every ski hill in North America from rope tow to resorts. But in today's video, I will be not skiing <laughs> and actually doing a gear review. So let's get it going. I don't want to encourage buying new things that are unnecessary, but when there is a product that I have enjoyed and used a lot <laughs> for over 10 years, I feel like it's worthy of a review and can help others in understanding where they should put their money when it comes time to buy a new product. Which is why I wanted to do a gear review on my Takine backpack. I have had this thing for over 10 years, and I have used this so much. This was my school backpack for my senior year of high school and all throughout college. This was my backpack for every single travel experience that I went on. This was my hiking backpack. This was everything to me. And it has gone through a lot of love, and I'm still using it. <laughs> I got this backpack back in, backpack, back. <laughs> I got this backpack back in 2011, and it is the Heli Pro 20 liter model in stencil. It has a laptop sleeve, and it is meant to strap snowboard and skis to it as well. As you can see, it has gotten a little bit of wear and tear on the back by the hip straps, and on the inside where I need to patch it up so I can continue using it. But for the amount that I've used this, I am incredibly impressed. I have talked up to kind backpacks ever since I've had this backpack. <laughs> because I am now a true kind backpack convert, I bought myself a Dekine Alley 12 liter backpack in this beautiful dusty purple color. I'm not sure the exact name of it. It is very similar to my last one, except for the size. And so this one is a lot easier to take with me when I'm skiing and hold just my water bottle, my wallet, my uh, filming gear. It has the same little pocket up here that holds some straps for strapping your skis or snowboard to the pack. But also, I like to hold my lip chap in there. Lip chap? That's what I call it. Chapstick? <laughs> what else do people call it? I, I guess it's just chapstick, but I call it lip chap. I don't know why. Is that a weird thing to say? Uh, whatever. Not important. <laughs> Anyways, it also has the same deep pocket for goggles and sunglasses at the top. But I also really like this front flap on this backpack because it allows you to stuff your jacket or your helmet into here and just strap it onto the outside of the backpack without compromising the actual size of this little backpack. And of course I love the color so much. They have made a lot of improvements to the backpack over the years. I'm a big fan of the new zipper tags that they have put on, which you can see our metal underneath. Instead of the, if you can see with this one, we're just rope and they slipped out from underneath very easily. And so I lost a few of those, but the zippers were still good to use. So I still use those, obviously. <laughs> Another thing that I really liked that they did change is that the the straps made for your straw or your hydration pack have definitely <laughs> stretched out where the new version is made from a different material that will not stretch out. So that's also really nice. This will be my first season with this backpack, which I'm very excited about. I will be using this a lot for uh, skiing around the mountain, so you'll be seeing it a lot in all of my videos. Um, and hopefully I'll give you another review at the end of the year to let you know how it stands up. 
see if it's as durable as the older virgins are. The durability is a huge part for me. I like to invest in things that last me for several years and uh, my Decon backpack is definitely one of those. <laughs> so I'm hoping that this new backpack will also last me for many years to come. And I guess I'm not entirely sure what else to say. <laughs> Maybe that's why I've also been so hesitant about doing gear reviews. I'm not entirely sure that I know how to do them correctly. If you have any questions, please drop them down below. Um, I have another video coming out in two weeks. <laughs> what else do I say? How do I finish this? Thank you so much for watching this short little video. I will be uploading some new ski content again in about two weeks. And this month I'll be skiing over at Red Lodge, Maverick, Showdown, Bear Paw, oh no, there's more, Lookout Pass, Blacktail, I think that's it. So if you have any recommendations for any of those places, please let me know. I'll be doing a lot in Montana and Idaho this year, so if I didn't mention your hill just now, I will probably be checking it out later on. Um, and I would still love to hear all of your recommendations. So again, thank you for watching. Please give it a like and a subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye! Okay. <laughs> About doing... But I also really like this front flap here that allows for stuffing of Excuse me. You're so cute. Yes, you are. You're so good.